Hello, welcome to Figure Form 45. Today, we will be reviewing the G.I. Joe classified series, Shipwreck. First, let's, let's have a look at the box. So it says, G.I. Joe classified series, G.I. Joe Shipwreck. Shows the accessories there comes with this palette. And that's the box. Now let's go check the figures, the sculpt, paint, and details. I think the head sculpt is pretty good. They got the character's look. This is what I like about the G.I. Joe team. They even put in the tattoos. I mean, look at that. And I believe there's also a different tattoo on the other side. Beautiful. I think he has chest hair. I'm not sure if it's showing on the camera. But his chest hair is painted actually. I think this design will be a problem on the articulation here. The bed. Nice. Overall, an A plus on this figure's scope and paint. Now let's go for this figure's accessories. First, he has this. Well, alternate hair. If you want him without the cup or hat or... Yeah, I think this is a sailor's hat. So, as expected for the Jew, it fits pretty well. And it doesn't look goofy. Nicely done. But who wants to see Shipwreck without this hat? So, yeah. We're keeping this. My only issue with this one is that this seems to get up very easily. Okay, now that I'm trying to show that in camera, it doesn't want to, but yeah. This tend to be removed easily, but I don't know. Right now, it's actually doing pretty fine, but I was thinking of putting a tuck hit here so that it will stay a little better, but hmm. right now that I'm recording it on camera, I think it's okay. Okay, so forget that comment then. Okay. Another accessory is this rope. Again, detail is amazing. And I think you put this here. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. That that looks right.
and then he has this what's a pivot without an anchor so he has this anchor I guess this is something you would use here so I'm thinking you can put it here at the back with the rope or he also has a hook here so you can also put it here so yeah you can put it there but if you feel like it's on the way you can always put it here so that's that's a very good option and now he has a small or pistol again detail is amazing when it comes to Hasbro their GI Joe line for me is the best when it comes to details in the accessories I don't know maybe because I'm not sure if I heard correctly that the GI Joe franchise is actually owned by Hasbro so maybe it's less cost for them so they are they are that the J Joe team is more free in when it comes to the budget and the figure. I'm not sure if I heard that correctly, but that's what I heard. That's why they can do this mold and they can do these accessories because the franchises of GI Joe is has is owned by Hasbro, so that's less cost for them. Unlike for Marvel, wherein they need to pay some kind of a franchise fee in order to continue working on that line and using the character's design i don't know correct me if i'm wrong on that one but a friend of mine told me that, that and that's why he said that when it comes to the gi joe figures they are more detailed articulation is better and they are not chipping out when it comes to the accessories So another accessory is the gun and again this is well painted this looks more like a style because this looks like a pirate's gun I don't know is he a pirate or a sailor mm, maybe a little bit about but let's just say that he's a sailor since he's a Joe very good detail and i think you can put it here there if you don't want him to hold it you can put it there and the last but not the least let's see the la the best for less this is his partner his pet parrot and despite how small this pet hairs they did not chip out on the details I mean just look at that skull it even has some shading in the green color some light shading look at that that's amazing um I think this is the very first pet accessory. I, can, I guess we can say that their pets are also an accessory for them because it's like their trademark uh, accessory that it should always be with them. So for shipwreck, he always has this parrot. I think this is the very first pet accessory that I saw the, in this G.I. Joe series that is not articulated, which I think maybe a good choice because of maybe maybe because of the size of the pet unlike spirits eagle or snake eyes dog which are bigger 
characters. And you can put him here. He has this thing on his hand. So if I'm not mistaken, this is how you put him. Yep. Yep, this stands pretty well, if I should say so myself. Yeah, that's my parrot voice. That is awesome. I love it. Aside from Snake Eyes, actually, Shipwreck is my other, is the other character in G.I. Joe that I will never forget when I was watching it, in, when I was watching it when I was a kid because, well, it's a sailor, so it's a pretty distinguishable character. And that's how he looks completely. With all the accessories. Another thing I like about these G.I. Joe figures is that they all have all their accessories always have, maybe not always, some, I think that I've found some figures that don't, but most of the time, the accessories of their figure always have um, this place where you can put them when they are not holding them in their hands. Okay, I was wondering if he can put this pet on his shoulder when it's, it's, it's except aside from here. But then when I look at the shoulder, there was no holder. But then in the rope, I saw this one. So I'm thinking you can put him on his shoulder by a dot. Hole. And I'm correct. Now I'm happy because both his hands are now free and he can fight and kick ass with his pram on his shoulder. Now for the articulation. I think this is the very same. They use the standard mold that they usually use with their Joes, which I have no problem with because this mold is the one of the most articulated mold that Hasbro has. So for the head, he has a ball joint here and his neck is also separated. So you can look down that far. Okay, there, right. And you can look up that far. You can look side to side. So that's pretty good articulation with the neck. For the hand, you can do the T pose pretty well. This rotates. Then this also rotates separately. Double jointed and pinless. And it's also particularly that it's a little tight though. Maybe I need to warm that up. Then abdominal crunch. No questioning that. It's good. In my copy though, the it has a waist rotation, but in my copy, it's kind of stuck. I can't move it. Maybe I need to heat that up. 
for the leg articulation, there's a drop down, which we all, I always love for this GI Joe figure. There's a drop down, then you can kick that far. It can kick back that far. Double jointed and as expected, the leg articulation is kind of limited. By this design, well, it looks good, so I'm okay with it. So, typical G.I. Joe figure articulation, but its articulation here is a little limited. Overall, another good G.I. Joe figure from the G.I. Joe team in the Hasbro line. They really never disappoint and Honestly, I'm a little biased on this character because this is one of the character that I've been waiting for Hasbro to release because I really like Shipwreck in the cartoons. So he's definitely a buy for me. This is a figure that is a definitely definite must on your collection if you are a G.I. Joe fan. Thank you for watching.